My squadron has some of the Navy's finest officers. But I suppose the last junior officer I'd want to part with would be Lieutenant Will Brown. He's one of a new breed. The Aeronautical Maintenance Duty Officer. The AMDO. Well, as soon as they get done with that section, they'll get the strut on, the brakes, wheels, and get the aircraft off the jacks. Get it down so we can get the stabilizer on, and we'll go from there. And we got, uh, you say we got one engine? Yeah, we, and have we one need engine. one more engine. We need one more. Brackets right here. Have we got enough screws for them? Uh, do they take a special bolt? No, it's uh, just a regular standard, standard 1032. Okay, any problems in the in the BLC uh, bracket there? Right, due to our engine hoist, yeah. a lot of times you know. High performance jets are wonderful machines. But they've grown so complex, along with their electronics and weapons, that it takes a real expert just to coordinate the repair and maintenance effort. I count myself lucky to have a young man like Will Brown in my squadron. Our record of flying hours is his record of careful hard work. Aeronautical maintenance duty officers receive a basic course at Memphis, which prepares them for their first assignment. The emphasis is on practical subject matter that can be put right to work. Other forces that work or impose a load on these propeller blades, one of them being aerodynamic twisting moment. We have a flat surface on the bottom and a cambered surface on the top of the airfoil. Because it is of airfoil design, it attempts to take an increase in bite or an increase in angle. This angle is our lift. Which produces your power. You have your power turbine section which is from here aft, it extracts the power and provides power to your main transmission in your helicopter. Uh, it's a very light engine, weighs approximately 294 pounds, which is, is good for helicopters. Simulated maintenance control problems using a fast clock put the pressure on the students. AMDO is a pressure job. Maintenance, be advised your event six is on the deck, 1600. You ready to copy? All right, both aircraft had one field. 404 had a reference of eight, which is a hydraulic leak in the flap area. 410 had a reference of 42, which is aileron flutter damper leaks. After Memphis comes Athens, Georgia, Supply Corps School. No specialty in the Navy works closer with supply than AMDO. Included is learning to work with computers. Computers have entered just about every facet of supply and aviation maintenance. So you need some kind of a way of making sure that an operator won't inadvertently write over some data you want to save. And the method that we use for that is a physical device which is known as the write-enable ring. Go ahead and mount this tape on tape cabinet number three. And the main thing is to make sure as you start out that you uh, do get that tape flush with this hub in the back. Push it all the way back against the tape cabinet. Most career officers receive graduate school, either some major university or the Navy's own fine postgraduate school at Monterey, where I did PG work. An AMDO could, for example, study noise suppression. This could lead to staff duty helping solve noise pollution problems. Just one of many interesting future assignments. To, to answer your question, Evel, the primary impact in this area is the FCLP pattern. When you have a full pattern, five aircraft, it ends up with an interval of about 30 seconds going around the pattern. This chart now shows the areas where we receive complaints, either by telephone, or by letters, petitions, and a group of letters in this area. If you'll notice in sound zones two, the greatest predominance of the uh, complaints. Even in an area that's outside of zone one in Mira Mesa, we've had several complaints. We've had justification for establishing the zones recorded by actual complaints from citizens.
But the place where the AMDO really performs is at sea, on a carrier. It's a demanding job, from the solitude of paperwork to dueling with the ship's chief petty officers, who incidentally are master duelers. The AMDO has to be able to handle pressure. Uh, chief to support about 600 hours a month in the F4J. Uh, we've been using an average of about two UHFs a day, attack end, three radar altimeters, and an IFF. Uh, already fixed up to uh, keep this our support up. No problem on the attack end and radar altimeters. However, I think you got some antenna problems in your birds. We're getting a high A799 rate with the radios coming in. On, on the radios, okay. I'll take care of that. Uh, Chief to support us with uh, aileron packs, uh, rudder packs, servos, uh, magnaflux, a couple of struts, and uh, stabilator support, uh, hardy fist. Outstanding on your outside support, the only problem we have is your men are removing accessories and parts from the components before they send them into the uh, AIMD. Consequently, it doubles our waiting parts time. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll take care of that. Uh, I'll look into it some... Hey, uh, Chief, you got 24% of my people TAD to you, and uh, we're set okay on avionics and airframes, people, but uh, I could like some of my AQs back, and 40s too, if you can afford it. Sure, we can give you some of them back as soon as we get this new avionics bench put together and set in. I'll let you have a couple of them back. But the ordinance people, uh, since you didn't bring it up in the first place, I don't think we can let you have them back. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I'd also like my radars. So this is the wheeler you're going to BCM? Yes, sir. Uh, what are you finding with it? Well, we had a carrier and we uh, found a crack. And uh, this is the third one we found like this. Just just on this side right here? Or both flanges? Both flanges. Both flanges? Yes, sir. Our miniature module component repair can replace these with no problem whatsoever. Have we got uh, corrosion problems on these uh, boards here? Yes, sir, we have a problem right in this area. However, it can be cleaned off readily as long as we catch it in time, and then we just put a covering over the okay. module so it doesn't. What did you find on my x ray here, Chief? Well, sir, the contamination patch no. test is definitely beyond sure is. except full standards. As you can see, in the comparison test, it's way above a five level. I guess uh, you want me to dial my airplane, huh? Yes, sir. I would recommend that we don't fly the aircraft until yeah. we do know for sure that we have got a... Uh, Good bird or bad bird. Okay. Handler, my 101 just went down for a fuel leak and after burn a fuel pump. I'm going to need to change that and I'm going to need it for a high power turn afterwards. I won't be able to make this launch with this bird. What else have you got available? Well, the only other radar I got is uh, 112. Cool. Oh, back in. Way down there. Hanger flight. Yes. Hi, Ryan. Okay, here's the problem right here. We've got, we've got, uh, we got. Two awaiting maintenance. Two awaiting we've maintenance. got one in work, and we've got uh, three AWP here. Okay. And the problem here is we just don't have anybody else to put on them. If I gave you another man, uh, would that help you get some of these in the waiting maintenance okay, we out can, on the bench? We can take another and put another. Uh, Ed, the computer shows uh, three ARC 51s uh, available in the rollable pool. I only see a couple of them here. Do you know where the rest of them are? They're in the AIMD shack being repaired. They should be back shortly. Though. Okay, I need uh, three of them tonight. Can you help me? Definitely. They'll be back tonight. Well, I told your chief I want this bird for a high power turn. Now, what the hell is it doing back there in the corner still? How about doing something for me? Look, uh, weapons came down here and told us that they had to have that hatch open back here in order to get the ordnance up to the flight deck. To get it open, I had to shove your plane back into the corner. I've got so three and a half hours to do this. Can you have it up topside in half an hour? It looks like I can probably have it up there in a half an hour. Okay, <clears throat> if that bird isn't topside in 30 minutes, we're we'll going to be down here again.
my squadron has some of the Navy's finest officers. But the last one I'd part with would be Will Brown, my AMDO.